Hello students, welcome to Top Scholars. You know, one of the tasks a teacher has to do every day is answering questions of the student. But do you know what is the most commonly asked question? Is it? Sir, can you explain me how to solve this numerical? Or is it? Sir, I am not able to understand this topic. Can you please explain it to me again? Unfortunately, it is not. The most commonly asked question is Sir, can you please tell me some important topics for the exam? So in this video, I am going to tell you something that every student wants to know and that is the most commonly asked question in exam. So today, I will tell you those topics which are going to come in your 10 CBSE science paper. Let's start with the first chapter and that is chemical reaction and equations. Now this is one of the most important topic of unit 1. From this chapter, you can expect question based on balancing chemical reactions. Also, these equations can be combined with concepts of different topic and hence it is very important that you learn how to balance a chemical reaction. Now let's move on to the next chapter and that is metals and non-metals. In this topic, the most important concept is reactivity series and also corrosion and its preventive measures. Also make sure to study about galvanization process. Now, moving on to the next chapter from which there is always one question in question number 8 and that is carbon and its compound. From this chapter, you are expected to write the IUPAC nomenclature of organic compounds. Also, there will be question based on drawing the structures of organic compounds. After carbon and its compound, shall we move on to our favorite chapter and that is periodic classification of elements. From this chapter, you can expect question based on merits and demerits of Mendeleev's periodic table. Also, you can expect question based on periodic trends of various properties of elements like metallic and non-metallic characters and atomic size. After discussing about important chapters from Unit 1, let's talk about Unit 2, which has four chapters starting with life processes. In this chapter, you can expect experiment-based question on concepts like types of respiration and structure of stomata. Also, you can expect a diagram based question on various organ system, for example, digestive system, respiratory system, etc. Now let's talk about something that we all need and that is control and coordination. From this chapter, you should definitely expect a question based on the role of plant hormone. Make sure you don't skip this topic. After this, Let's focus on the next chapter and that is how do organisms reproduce. From this chapter, you can expect experimental and diagram based question on concepts like binary fission and budding. Also, you can expect diagram and function based questions on topics like parts of flower and female reproductive system. Make sure you don't forget to study about the concepts like methods of birth control. Now let's talk about that chapter which describes how we all evolve and that is heredity and evolution. From this topic, you can expect a question based on monohybrid cross. There is a very high probability that there will be at least one question from this topic. Alright then, let's start with unit 3 of our syllabus. In this unit, we have two chapters starting with light, reflection and refraction. So this chapter is all about light and how it behaves in presence of mirrors and lenses. So it is obvious that you are expected to draw ray diagram. Also, you can expect question based on concave and convex mirrors as well as lenses. Also, they can ask you to describe the nature of the image form. In this chapter, you also have numerical questions. So you can expect question based on mirror formula and lens formula. So students, next chapter. You have to guess. Okay, I'll give you a hint. No, I'm not talking about my finger. I'm talking about my eye. So, the chapter is Human Eye and the Colorful World. So, from this chapter, you can expect question based on natural phenomena that are caused by refraction of light. For example, atmospheric refraction and its explanation. You can also expect a situation based question which is mostly dependent on defect of human eye where they'll give you a situation and you have to give a solution to that. Now let's move on to the next unit and that is unit 4. 
in this unit the first chapter is something which we all need and that is electricity from this chapter you can expect a numerical based question on resistors in series or parallel or it can also be on electrical power so make sure you study lots of numericals and practice lots of them so that you can score good now let's move on to the next chapter of unit 4 and that is magnetic effects of electric current from this chapter you can expect an experiment or an activity based question wherein an activity will be described to you and they'll ask you questions based on that moving on to our next unit and that is unit 5 in this unit the first chapter is our environment in this the most important concepts are food chain and energy flow also question based on waste management are very important so finally we are at the last chapter of our science syllabus and that is sustainable management of natural resources in this chapter the most important concepts are conservation of water conservation of forest and water harvesting so these are the most important topics that you need to focus on for your 10 cbse science exam for more such videos visit topscholars.com and download our app also hit the like button and subscribe to our channel thank you Oh,